Hi friend, this is Nandeep and you are watching Hi Technology TV. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure AWS backend to take our SAP HANA system backup on S3 bucket. So here right now we are into our system and we have taken SSH session. So first of all, we need to download our agent. So these are separate way to do this to install our agent. So one of the easiest ways to download the agent and then we have to install it. Prerequisite for or you can say prior to configure our AWS backend to take the backups is that first of all we need to create a role. So here in my case I have created this role and I have attached these two default policy provided by Amazon. So the first one is Amazon EC2 role for SSM and another one is Amazon SSM manage instance core. Then one of the policy we need to create itself and this is the content of this particular policy. I will provide you the content of this particular policy in the description box. So here you need to provide the HANADB backups, backups your S3 bucket name and some of the action that can be performed by this particular policy and then you have to attach this particular role to your instance for that what you have to do is you have to just select your instance I will here I will mask few of the things due to the privacy regions then go to the actions then security and then modify IAM role so here you are able to see that I have assigned this particular role to my instance next task is that we need to create one S3 bucket so here we already have one S3 bucket with name HANADB backups and this should be only private it is not the public one then here we have to create one folder so let me create one so this is the folder name that on which we are going to take our backups what we have to what we have done is that we have created two separate folder so this one is for another system and this is for the new one for which we are going to configure yeah that's it then you have to copy this particular account id so here also i will mask all these details due to the privacy region then go back to your system ssh console and here just download it here I have downloaded it into the time then what we have to do is list down this particular agent then we have to install it so to install it we have to provide this command python 3 and then agent name hit enter it will ask for the installation directory so I will keep it default then 12 digit account id so this is the account id which we need to provide okay let me copy it again so this is the account id okay then s3 bucket region so in our case it is us east one one s3 bucket name Then we need to provide the folder in S3 bucket that is H16. Here we are not going to use the encryption. Here it is asking are you sure that you do not want to use the encryption. So yes we are sure about that. Here we need to provide our SAP HANA system ID. So our SAP HANA system ID is S16 then hana opt 
that tree that is fine default one here it is asking that uh, this particular agent or the configuration itself will modify our global.ini file so here i am just going with modify otherwise you can generate one or this particular insta installation will generate the sql file and then we have to run that so here i am going with modify here it is asking for the hana system db global ini file location so to, that is the form okay here it is asking to verify the signature for agent binary so no we do not require that yeah we need the response so yes please save that and here it is saying that we need to disable sap hana data and log backups prior proceeding with the installation so okay and now it start the installation it is going to take approximate one minute okay so our installation is completed successfully and here we can see the installation log and this is the response file for the future users so let's switch to the hana studio just right click here this is our h16 system i already connected with this backup and recovery backup system database then select backend here and then provide the backup prefix so full backup 4th fab 2022 that's it click next and hit enter Okay guys, so our database backup is finished successfully, close it and come to our bucket, then go to H16, then USR, SAP, H16, SIS, Global, STB and Backend. So here we have taken the backup of SystemDB, so go to that and here you are able to see that this is the prefix that we provided and here we have our backups let's go back to the system again and go here backup and recovery then open the backup console then go to the configuration and here you are able to see that this is our backend settings so this is the backup main agent configuration yaml file that is being used for backup parameters so you can check more details so the parameter that is being configured then here the log backup settings is backend you can change them if you require so from here you can enable or disable your backend configuration so friend, by this way, you can configure your SAP HANA backup on S3 back bucket with AWS backend. I hope you will like this video.